What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering End. An interesting email and blog was posted by Patreon the other day, a site with a, how do you say, checkered history in terms of uh, supporting creators in the ways that they expect. Look, the YouTube economy is very different nowadays. Creators have to support themselves in a variety of ways, unless perhaps you live in that magical, mythical world where... YouTube still enjoys your content. I suppose daily vloggers, family vlogs, things like that. These are still popular. But if you're not one of those folks, you survive by selling t-shirts or maybe, for example, like me, you get a sponsor for the video. And this video sponsor is Glasses USA. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, GlassesUSA.com. Now I didn't get glasses until I was in my mid thirties and I didn't really know where to go or what to do. I do everything else online, so why not handle my glasses there too? Glasses USA has a gigantic frame selection with over 6,000 types of eyeglasses, sunglasses, including in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E, and designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Armani, Gucci. Now yesterday, Patreon sent out an email it was strange for me to get an email from Patreon given, well, they banned me for a ridiculous reason. Patreon has also banned many of my friends for ridiculous reasons, which is why I strongly recommend alternatives like Subscribestar. Uh, you can go to subscribestar.com slash the quartering and support me there if that's what you so choose or many other content creators like Sargon of Akkad are there that you might know and enjoy. If a content creator that you currently support on Patreon isn't there, I strongly recommend you encourage them to at least open up an alternative to people that don't want to pay money to Patreon because it's a very real thing. Some of the biggest creators on Patreon who had nothing to do with, for example, the Sargon of Akkad banning or the other politically motivated bannings uh, a while back, everyone was negatively affected because people left the platform. Uh, just recently, you saw Patreon banning um, Japanese style art. Who knows what that even means? It seems to be a rotating or a, a very live type of definition. You can back artists there, but only if they're creating the right kind of art. This is actually a pretty great way to explain how Patreon works. So they sent out an email with the title, Let's Cut the BS. Creativity over everything. The world needs creators, especially in tough times. We turn to you for joy, distraction, hope, and understanding. Why did you email me this, Patreon? You banned me. Your work is important, and we owe so much to you. They're saying right now, please, please promote our platform. We're getting completely hammered. They've had controversy after controversy of large-scale bannings of content creators for content that they don't like, and more and more people leave the platform. Every time they do this, they try to come out and do damage control, but it doesn't work. Remember the famous um, e uh, interview that they did with Matt Christensen that completely blew up in their faces. They want to say, that's why we're tired of seeing creators getting screwed over by a broken system. What? What? You're literally doing that. A broken system that doesn't value their work. Okay. And current events are making it painfully clear. While the internet has offered massive opportunities for creators of all kinds, the rules and attention economy are serving advertisers first and leaving artists with less. So is this email going to be you telling all of us creators that you're going to waive the fee for April and May? I won't hold my breath. Le it leaves creators with less financial stability, less creative control, and less ability to connect with their own fans. Interesting you would say that, Patreon. As somebody who continually bans creators with many thousands of backers, who you were fine collecting their monthly fees every month, by the way. Patreon was fine collecting their fees off the creators that built the platform. Here's what a lot of people don't know about Patreon and why... I strongly recommend alternatives for people, okay? If Patreon really cared, they would have ruled these type of people out in the beginning. They were fine with the rejects 
to build their platform. Because let's be honest, that's who builds any of these new alt platforms. That's who went to Gab. That's who goes to Mines. That's who goes to BitChute. That's who went to Subscribestar. And Patreon was an alternative for creators that couldn't get monetized on YouTube. Once they were big enough, though, they threw everyone out and acted like they never needed them. And that's perhaps the most cowardice and the most sad reason that, uh, and the most strong reason, I'm sorry, that I, that I just don't care for Patreon. Uh, you know, them banning Japanese style artists, whatever that means, is another perfect reason. Them banning people because they disagree with their political opinions, that's another perfect reason. I mean, the list goes on and on. So coming from a company who's literally reaching out in what I can only describe as desperation, uh, this is very rich. Our community wants to change that. And it starts with telling our story. We hope it resonates with you. By the way, this is an email that is sent to creators. We already use your platform in some capacity, or some of us were banned and you were still on your email list. I mean, could you look any more desperate? In difficult times like these, humanity leans on artists to lift us up and connect us. From musicians performing their fans of live streams, blah, 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 blah. It wasn't supposed to be this way. At one point, the internet was looked upon as a symbol of hope for creators. Before the invention of the web, if you wanted a career in the arts, you had to convince someone with a checkbook and a Rolodex of context that you were worth a chance. Um... It's really not that different nowadays. Most people that get popular online don't start out making money. They prove themselves first. Writers had to assure publishers that they're worth weight of ink. Filmmakers had to sell their ideas to the studio, blah, blah, blah. Of course, blah, 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 blah. But also, the demonetization of this distribution and access to it came at a cost. File sharing dug into the profits of the established brands and major labels, making CDs obsolete. Ad supported free content from the web caused a tornado of bankruptcies and caused consolidation through the print media landscape. From radio to brick and mortar stores, the internet shook up every aspect of the creative industry. Still, we were comfortable with the trade off because the internet appeared to be a level playing field. Unfortunately, we didn't know what we were signing up for. This is eye rollingly unself aware. Why don't you just start taking Jack Conti and all your other board of director people and why don't you sing a Beatles song into your cell phones from your mansions? That's exactly what this reads like. The pioneers behind these platforms aren't evil. I disagree. There's no cartoon villain here. Mm, most likely, they were fueled by good intentions, looking for a way to find fund their new and exciting projects. However, the realities of their business model hindered their ability to put creators first. And since the ads and data mining were d determined early to be the only way to fund these platforms, everything has been built with that model in mind. Reasonable. The ad-based business model may have been good for shareholders, but for artists, it's a different story. Instead of building tools to help create creators, platforms innovate for advertisers. From machine learning that lumps different types of education in with spicy content to unintentional censorship. <laughs> what? From Patreon. From Patreon, who willingly censors people. Who willingly took the, rag ta the money from the outcasts in the beginning to build their company and then tossed them aside. This is rich. How does this affect creators to create every day? Thanks for educating us, the creators, on why we're getting hosed. Unfair compensation. It isn't right that the creators only receive a small slice of the revenue to help these platform they help these platforms generate. Yes, it is. What do you mean? It absolutely is. The money that advertisers make via revenue share or because of our presence is what we make. YouTube wouldn't exist in the capacity and size that it is now if YouTube didn't make money. There's not a lot of nonprofit video sharing sites out there that are generating billions of views an hour. Online toxicity. Ooh, this is going to be good. This will be good. Creators shouldn't have 
to brace for impact before posting online. Social media acts as a public forum to talk to all, which is good for free exchange of ideas, but there's a dark side to this openness and anonymity. I thought you were against censorship, Patreon. Make up your mind. Online harassment is commonplace and trolls lurk in the comment section. I like that they have a hyperlink to define what trolls are. It's great. It's great. A fact that hits creators especially hard because they're the ones putting themselves out there. Telling creators to, quote, toughen up and get thicker skin isn't a solution. When the environment's to blame. Oh, I see. I see. Join our safe space. Create the content we tell you to create and never step out of line because we will fire you with no notice and no appeal. But we're the good guys. Patreon.com. Sign up today. Are you joking? Are you joking? People say that's just the way it is. No one pays for content anyway. You've got to feed the algorithm. Well, that's just verifi verifiably false. Any Twitch streamer has thousands of subscribers. Any YouTuber, we have now the join button where I'm so happy to say several hundred of you have clicked and paid for my, to help support my channel. Several hundred of you have uh, signed up to my subscribe star. So what do you mean? If that were true, Patreon literally wouldn't exist. Patreon exists because people will pay for content. Creative control, a place which empowers creators to follow their vision and create for themselves and their fans, unless you're creating Japanese style art, or unless you're talking about the wrong political opinions, of course, or unless they change their mind again and don't like something else you say. Are you sensing a theme here? Financial independence. A world where being a creator is a viable career path that offers sustainability. Artists should be able to achieve creative ambitions, grow their business independently, enjoy stability. Oh, stability. Well, what about the, that stability? Did you afford those people that you banned simply because you decided you didn't like their political opinions or that you didn't like their Japanese style art or that you didn't like that um, they were arguing with people online? There's no stability in Patreon. You could be banned at any moment. Uh, they don't care about censorship. They don't care about any of the stuff they're saying. This is absolutely ridiculous. They make almost zero good points in this in one of the most tone-deaf articles I've ever read. I can't describe the existence of this other than a desperate and transparent attempt to get creators to reuse their Patreons because right now, look what's happening. We have millions, three, four, five million people are going to be on unemployment in the next couple of weeks. What do you think the first thing they're going to cut? And I would never blame any of you. You would never need to explain yourself if you just cut off my subscribe star because I don't know, you have to pay your rent or you have to buy food. But that's really what Patreon cares about here because they clearly, by their own admission through their actions, don't give one iota of a care about half the things they say they do in this article. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. Embrace alternative tech.